This is 100% the best set and powder that dropped in 2023. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Brightening Set and Powder, and I like shade Rosita. I love the pink to brighten, and it's super finely milled. When I tell you, this looks literally like a filter compared to the side with none on it. It looks so airbrushed. And I use this to set my entire face. And I like to bake with it a little. And if you like a pressed powder too, this She Glam Pressed Powder, it also has a loose, but the pressed just dust a little under the eyes to brighten even more. Those who like a powder blush, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Blushes. The shade range is gorgeous. This is my favorite shade. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, so it gives a little bit of highlight. Such a beautiful color. I feel like you already know what I'm going to say for highlighter. P. Louise highlighters. These are specifically from the Holiday Collection, but any of the hat-shaped P. Louise highlighters, like insane. Insane. So beautiful. I want to bathe in it. This complexion is killing me. It is so good. Okay. Eyeshadow palette of the year. As much as I would love to choose my own, I'm not doing that. So my second favorite is the Pretty Grunge from Huda Beauty. First of all, the packaging I'm obsessed with. Any of the Huda palettes, I love how she does her color stories. I love how she uses different finishes. They're just beautiful. And I love, this is probably my favorite one she's ever done. So let me quickly do a look. These shadows are so pigmented and they blend like a dream. This would actually be a really good palette to use for New Year's. Honorable mention, Blend Bunny Cosmetics Forget Me Not palette. This is a face and eye palette that has literally the most beautiful colors. I use shades from both palettes. Eyeliner of the year, Rare Beauty. Wicked Pigmented, Creamy, and Long Lasting. Mascara of the year. I couldn't choose just one. Benefit Fan Fest and ABH Lash Sculpt. So, so, so good. I'm doing a slight coat of mascara because I'm going to do lashes. The ABH mascara makes my bottom lashes look super long, black, and full. My favorite lashes of the year were P. Louise Gratitude Attitude. I constantly use these. This makeup is so pretty. See, this is what happens when you use good shit. My second favorite category in the entire awards, lips. Oh, so many good lip products came out this year. The lip liner, the e.l.f. lip liners. I am using shade Baddest Beige. These are two bucks and they're just as good as high end. And the best lipsticks that launched this year are the Makeup by Mario Super Satin. This is shade Midtown. This is a gorgeous satin lipstick formula. Mmm. I do want to mention that this is obviously my favorite lipstick of the year, but I'm trying to not be biased. Tat Maracuja Juicy Plump. They're juicy, they're hydrated and glossy. And NYX Fat Oil. Just to top it off. Look at this makeup. These are the best products of 2023. Congrats to all the winners. Let me know if any of these are your favorites, and I'll see you next year. I love ya.